In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple robot animation using Adobe Flash and Shoebox. In this demonstration, I'll be using pre-made assets, so my first step is to find the rasters that I want to use for my animation. The rasters I'm using in this example are from the original Kenny Assets Pack, and they can also be found on Open Game Art under Robot Pack. I will be using Adobe Flash and Shoebox to create an animation sprite and then I'll be testing it in Construct 2. Start by creating a new action script document in Adobe Flash. Next, navigate to the robot asset pack on your file system and find the side view graphics. I'm going to be building a robot with a red body and a set of tracks, one for the front and one for the back. Once you've selected the rasters, you're going to drag them to the Flash program. Verify that they can be found under the Library tab. In order to animate our robot, we need to place each raster on its own layer so that it can be controlled independently. In the timeline, rename Layer 1 to Body, and then create two more layers one named front, and the other named back. Position your layers so that the back layer is behind everything else, and the front layer is in front of everything else. Then place each raster on its respective layer and position using the tools found in the Modify menu. Time to animate the robot by creating keyframes and tweens in Flash. Select the fifth frame and right click Insert Keyframe. Now move the front track forward and the back track backwards. Next, Select somewhere in between the two sets of keyframes and right-click Create Classic Tween. You should now see arrows. Now select the 10th frame and insert another set of keyframes. This time, you're going to move each track backwards, close to their respective starting positions. Select somewhere between the last two set of keyframes and right-click Create Classic Tween. Time to test out your animation. If you want to customize the acceleration and deceleration of each tween, you can use the easing property. After all, not everything moves with a linear speed. You can find easing under Properties. Simply select between a set of keyframes and adjust to taste. Last but not least, let's right click on the stage and change the dimensions of our document to match its content. It's time to export our animation as a sequence of individual rasters. In Flash, go to File, Export, and choose Export Movie. You're going to save this as a PNG sequence. The results will show a raster for each frame of the animation you just created. Next, we will create a sprite sheet containing our 10 frames using the Shoebox program. Simply drag the 10 rasters to the Frame Sheet option under Animation. You will see a preview of your sprite sheet. Choose Save. I like to keep my file names nice and neat, including the dimensions and number of frames of my animation. At this point, you can create your animation using 
your game engine of choice. I am using Construct2. I'm going to create a new object type entitled Robot in a dummy project. I'm going to be building the default animation from Sprite Strip. I'm going to assign the same origin point to each frame of the animation. I will also individually establish the collision polygon for each frame. I will change the speed of the animation and also set it to loop. Now I can place an object instance on the layout view, proportionally resizing with the shift key if I want. To perform my crude test, I'm going to assign the platform behavior to the robot. Next, I will add the keyboard to the project. I will be using the keyboard to create two events that control the robot's mirroring. When the user clicks on the left arrow and if the robot is not mirrored, mirror the robot. If the right arrow key is pressed and the robot is mirrored, then unmirror him or her. Let's run the layout and see how we did. As you can see, our animation works perfectly. Great job.